Arnold Whiteman was born on July 5, 1928 in Montague, Prince Edward Island, where he spent a good part of his childhood. His father's employment with Imperial Oil took the family to Nova Scotia, where Arnold was educated at the Sydney Academy and later pursued studies in business accounting. At the age of 24, a business-minded Arnold returned to PEI with his young bride, Daisy Watkins. He took his first entrepreneurial steps by opening a bookkeeping and accounting service on Main Street in Montague. It was from this small office that he began serving as the town clerk for 20 years, often carrying most of the information in his shirt pocket. Over the years, Whiteman has contributed to the success of numerous Montague businesses and today, at the age of 85, continues his dedication to the town through the Montague Rotary Club. Arnold was in fact the charter president of the club in 1985, and since then, with his perfect attendance record, many great club projects have grown. After keeping the books of other Montague businesses for a few years, Whiteman opened his own in 1958, a lucky dollar store on Main Street. Business flourished, and in the spring of 68, he saw another business opportunity and purchased the old pulp yard on the outskirts of town. He transformed the vacant land into the first modern grocery store in the town of Montague, a Save Easy. From there, his business ventures grew. He was able to expand the Save Easy location into the town's first mall. Two more expansions followed for the Down East Mall operation, and in 1994, Arnold and more than 50 employees celebrated its 25th anniversary. Many stores have enjoyed success in the town's North End Shopping Centre over the years. It's been the place to go for residents in need of haircuts, dental services, furniture, electronics, groceries, and much more. Martina McDonald operated Second Glance Interiors in the mall. I think Arnold just knew how to get something done. I think that he cared about his community, he could see potential in his community, he knew the, where the growth opportunities were long before anyone else identified them, and Arnold had a way of just slowly, steadily going at one pace and getting this job done and then move on to the next job. But when he set his mind to something, he didn't make a lot of noise. He didn't look for a lot of praise or a lot of press. He just got one job done at a time and moved on to the next one. One triumphant job after another, and the list is long. To say that Arnold was active in his community would be an understatement. He became a member of Montague's Fire Brigade in 1957, serving as firefighter for many years. He was president of the Land Use Commission, and as president of the Junior Board of Trade, he took the lead on many projects, like the establishment of the Garden of the Gulf Museum, a major tourist attraction in the town for over 50 years. Arnold also played a key role in the building of the Iceland Arena and was the founding member of the Montague Fiddle Festival in aid of the St. John Ambulance. As a longtime member of the Old Trinity United Church in Montague, Arnold served on many boards and committees, including one to amalgamate with the Valleyfield Congregation. With the old Trinity Church busting at the seams in the 60s, the much larger Valleyfield Church was moved to a new foundation in Montague in a huge relocation project. Hillcrest United still stands on the site today, serving both communities. In 1973, Arnold Whiteman was elected mayor. As one of the town's most visionary leaders, he put many of his plans for a stronger community into action. Whiteman is a consummate professional, well recognized at any occasion with his shirt and tie business attire at all times. Those closest to him believe that this Boy Scout photo may have been the last time that anyone has seen Arnold in short pants. Dr. Bud Ings, a longtime friend and also an active resident of the town, says that Whiteman was well respected and for good reason. Well, he's a, he's a heck of a nice guy. And uh, he's always got time to talk. And he did a, a good job in promoting education. He was just a, a, a full-time person to help somebody else. Arnold Whiteman's vision, entrepreneurial spirit, business accomplishments, and outstanding service to his community make him a most welcome addition to the Junior Achievement Prince Edward Island Business Hall of Fame. <laughs>